Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Pokemon Unite video. And I'm very excited because this game has been doing a decent job at updating their mechanics and updating everything that seems to be wrong with the game. So good on them for that. Good on Pokemon Company for that. Good on Tencent for that. And shout out to the community for being vocal about this in the first place. Because this game, this is the second patch that this game has been gotten. That this game has gotten. And it's coming on the coattails of Blissey actually being released as well. It's coming out on the 18th, which is tomorrow at the time of this recording when this video gets uploaded. And I'm very excited to see what this game uh, does when Blissey comes out because Blissey is a game breaking Pokemon for sure. And I'm excited to see what the heck she does to the meta for sure. But I have a question to you all in the comment section below and a favor. Make sure the favor is make sure you leave a like, a comment and subscribe, obviously for some more Pokemon Unite content if you care about Pokemon Unite. But at the same time, the question for you all is are you still excited about the game and are you still as invested in the game as you were the first week and a half playing the game i just want to know in the comment section below where you guys are at with this and let me see if these balance patches or these patches can like i guess uh get you back into the mood but with that being said let's get up into it this is like i said it's coming out uh tomorrow the 18th which is the exact same time blissey is coming out which is the exact same as the pokemon presents which you will see me covering obviously as well update details we have bug fixes text fixes and shop updates which hopefully is the menu i'm not gonna lie the game's menu is really really slow i'm just really happy that they seem to be addressing this hopefully this is what this shop updates means but let's get up to it because a lot of mods are getting fixed apparently uh crustle uh cooldown reduced and damage dealt to opposing pokemon increased on the stealth rocks rock tomb the damage dealt to, oppose, to opposing pokemon has been increased so i'm going to assume that they're trying to utilize moves that nobody was using because i know stealth rocks uh stealth rocks isn't really like the preferred uh move when it comes to crustle so they're probably increasing the damage so more people can like have more reasons to use these moves on their pokemon which makes a lot of sense because charizard are pretty much went through the exact same thing as well which is nutty right guard chomp obviously uh movements wait movement speed changed whoa damage dealt to poke wait whoa 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 yo guard chomp just got buffed Oh my God, what? No way, bro. What did I, what, whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. This is, this is fire. Oh my God, thank you so much. Dude, if you know, Garchomp is one of those Pokemon that like, obviously in like high level play, you just don't see him at all. People would much rather opt out for Greninja, Cinderace, anything else over Garchomp. And Garchomp is a really good Pokemon. The problem is, obviously, he's just really, really slow. And the movement speed has been changed. Hopefully, it's been faster, right? The damage increase on Bulldoze. The, the cooldown reduction on Dragon Rush is really good. That's fire. Because now, we can probably see more Garchomp usage in high-level play. And I think that's the really good mod to, like, really fix. Because I, I, Garchomp was definitely one of those mons that were just like oh he looks cool but like he's kind of ass because how slow he is compared to the other mons that are being used over him for sure right anyway let's keep going slow bro uh surf duration of effects of opposing pokemon decreased so i'm gonna assume that stun has decreased i'm, a, I'm i don't know what, what that means uh scald bug fixes and then damage dealt to Pokemon increases, which is kind of cool. I like that because nobody was using Skull anyway. People were definitely using Surf. People are probably still going to use Surf, actually, because that, that knock up is just amazing for the most part. I don't know why anybody would use Surf any or Scald otherwise. I mean, cause Skull, unless Skull burns, does Skull burn in this game? Does it not burn? I don't think, I don't, I, look. I've not used Skull, and I'm pretty sure I've seen anybody else use Skull at all. So I guess this is cool. They really want you to focus on moves you have not used in this update or in this game at all. So Skull getting an increase is definitely a notion to that. And then Snorlax, Heavy Slam, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased, block, damp, duration of effects decreased, flail, move upgrade, and HP restoration decreased. Wait a minute, did they just, whoa, 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 did they just nerf Snorlax? 
Whoa, that's crazy. Because now Snorlax can't have like that crazy damage that Heavy Slam does. Now Snorlax can't like stun lock you inside of a corner for a, as long as he used to back in the day now, or like just gets you confused anyway, which is great. Flail, I've been seeing a lot of people do jungle Snorlax anyway, so Flail being upgraded makes so much sense to me because a lot of people have been trying to like utilize uh flail snorlax in jungle and it's kind of weird saying that but whatever and then they also decreased the hp restoration on power nap which is really good because snorlax we all know snorlax is a busted pokemon this mon could literally run through an entire team and would like he wouldn't die he would not die like if, if you if your team lost with like a Snorlax, I don't know, it might just be your damage guys, but for the most part, Snorlax is a required Pokemon on any team now, right? Uh, Greninja, let me see what Greninja, Smokescreen, Move, Downgrade, I don't know what that downgrade means. Cooldown, Lengthen, which does suck because cooldown, damn dude, really, they just nerfed him, why? What? Water Shuriken, cooldown reduced, and then damage does Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. So they want you to definitely use uh, Water Shuriken. I mean, I'm pretty sure people are still gonna people are still gonna use like Surf. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? A uh, double team cooldown reduction. I think we still might be using Smoke Screen in the in the meta for for sure, right? Uh, Wicked Tough. Uh, Unite move got fixed. Uh, Cinderace's basic attack got fixed. Uh, Nine Tails got fixed. Aurora Vero got fixed. Do we even know what these mean? What do, what do bug fixes mean? What does that mean, bro? Gardevoir, fix, fix, fix. Cramorant, fix. Avalug, wait, what? Where'd these mods come from? Who cares? Avalug, stat decrease. Bat hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 We're buffing items? Whoa, 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 Eject button has been decreased, whatever that means, right? Go getter increased. And then fluffy tail increase. Which would probably mean more like uh the the time has been like uh lengthened or something like that. X attack has been increased as well huh very interesting pokemon unite i don't know how i feel about these changes these changes seem kind of unnecessary if i do say so myself guard chop definitely needed it for sure definitely needed it for sure slow bro i guess surf needed to get fixed anyway so why not right but everything else i mean snorlax got nerfed which is cool i'll take it Greninja got nerfed, but then buffed as well on the water shuriken, I guess. I don't, I don't, whatever. I just want to know what bug fixes mean. I wish they were more uh, detailed in these updates when it comes to that, because nobody knows what these mean anymore, right? And I did, it's nice to see they were like uh, messing with like the items as well, because I, I was thinking that they were going to introduce new items and just throw away all the old ones anyway, for the most part, right? So like obviously eject button, I don't know if it's like gonna like uh, lower the distance and or uh, lower the cooldown for it. Maybe, I don't know. Um, Go getter gets an increase. Fluffy tail gets a stat increase. And an X attack gets a stat increase as well. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know. These are such vague updates. I have no idea what the hell to think about it right now, right? I mean, who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this, all these changes and whatnot who you're excited to use. I think Garchomp is one of my mods that I'm really excited to see uh, in high level play again, because I, I I don't know, it was just such a really good mod, but it definitely was slow. It, it, at some point, it just got outclassed by everything else. It makes sense what happened, what happened, right? Anyway, I'm gonna end this off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, love you guys.